Where does it hurt? Third set. We're all tied up now. Moving into Neo Electric Circuit. So, uh, strong showing from Fantasy, although I have to say Jang Di played pretty strong as well. He just fell to uh, the late game power grab that Fantasy is well known for. Yeah, Fantasy's tank pushes are almost unstoppable, but Jang Di stopped the first one. That really surprised me. I did not think he would be able to take down that many tanks, even with a recall of Zealots on top of them. But although he did that recall and it was a successful one and he fought back Fantasy, Fantasy still came back. Just shows the strength of his macro and his multitasking ability. Absolutely top notch. And now we're tied up. Hell yeah. Here we go. Neo Electric Circuit, as I said. Gonna love those four player maps this season. Here we go. Except. Down at the 8 o'clock position in beige is Jangbi. That means at the 5 o'clock in red is Fantasy. And <laughs> I realized I got cut off and the oh, Vuvuzelas. You have my own Vuvuzela here in the apartment. I only pull it out when I see other Vuvuzelas, though. <laughs> That's the only way that it is used. My hand Vuvuzela. I, I do do a very good didgeridoo. Anyway, wow, that was had nothing to do with anything. But I did realize that I was cut off on my point about talking about slumps in the last game. Uh, Jangbi went for something crazy and distracted me, of course. So I got immersed in the game, which happens an awful lot. <laughs> it's happened a lot over my commentating career. And I'll come in with very important stats and then it's thrown off by cheese or ridiculousness or pictures like that. <laughs> oh dear god. <sighs> Fantasy Bin Laden. Gotta love it. Very in very good taste, I might add. <laughs> anyway, back on my point about slumps. I wanted to make the contrast between the two players as far as slumps go. Because Jang Bi had that 14 loss streak, which I can't even imagine how painful that must have been. I can't even imagine it. I mean, it's just, oh god. god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, e eventually I'm going to make a point. It's, it's taken me hours to do so, but let's let's try it. <laughs> nah. Oh dear God. The audience, I love them. But, 14 losses in a row, absolutely painful. Can't imagine coming back from something like that. Yeah, I'm sure other players have had 14 loss streaks, but they've probably fallen off the face of the map. I looked up all the legends, like Jadong and Bisu, and a stork and all them, and their worst loss record is usually like six, five, five losses in a row, which isn't very much at all. But 14, painful. No light at the end of the tunnel when you come to their 14th loss. So it was remarkable that Jangpi made it back, but on the other side of this coin, we have Fantasy, who I don't think has ever gone through a slump. I mean, not really. He might have had uh, lost streak. His lost streak was six, I believe. But still, uh, he's never really gone in a slump. Since he really broke onto the scene in 2008 when I started commentating. Uh, he was a newbie when I started commentating. Uh, I didn't really know what to think of him making it to the finals. I was like, well, he's a new player making it to the finals against the, the veteran Stork. This is kind of odd, but let's, let's see how he does. And he played a pretty impressive series. The next one, the Batu OSL, was the one that really showed me what kind of a player that Fancy was. Speaking of uh, Jadong in the Batu OSL, he's in the audience looking on. But here is Jangbi. Jangbi built a pylon in the middle. Oh my god, what the hell, Jangbi? What are you doing, man? You trying to distract me again? Look at this. Pylon in the middle. <laughs> Saw that on the minimap. I was like, what the hell? No. 
What are you doing, Jangby? So he is going for more dirty tricks. Is this going to be gateways? What is that? Observers, show me, please. Robotics facility in the middle. Of course. Of course it's a robotics facility. Wow. So proxy robo means early drops. And there's fantasy. He's floating over with his command center to the protected natural expansion. This map kind of has two natural expansions for each main. It's very easy to get your third base on a map like this, but Fantasy is inside the main. He's scouting. Uh-oh, he might scout this. Fantasy! He's coming down. He's going through the middle. Looking for the... Uh, the he finds the proxy. He knows there's a hidden robotics facility. Well, not really hidden now, I guess. <laughs> Found the robotics facility, so he's building his engineering bay immediately. He's going to set up turrets and try to keep that shuttle away. And Jangby might actually have to change his strategy a little bit because he was scouted here, and if he was going for early reaver drops or just early drops in general, uh, ferrying over troops, which is called an elevator, but no, this is robotic support bay coming up, so this is early reaver drops from... <laughs> Jangbi, and he's still going to try to commit to this. Yeah, and Fancy's going to see exactly what's happening. Gets in with the scout. He's inside with that scout. He's going to find the tech. Well, maybe find the tech buildings. He's over there trying to make sure that Jangbi isn't expanding again. But Jangbi is at the front, and uh, there is Fantasy desperately trying to repair that supply depot, which Jangbi was trying to take down. But still, the robotics facility in the middle. Oh, he's going to ferry his troops inside the main. Time to elevator them in. Uh, yeah, I got a couple of Dragoons uh, coming over now. It's going to be three Dragoons and a Zealot. But I'm wondering how long he's going to he's going to wait before he just uh, pressures with everything. Dropping another Dragoon. So four Dragoons, one Zealot. And, yeah, he's coming down now. Get the Zealot out first to take the tank shots. But he's got to get close to that tank. Take out the tanks first because they are the biggest threat at this point. Tank goes down. So one of only two tanks out for Fantasy. We're taking down the Fantasy. Sieges up his other tank. He's got to protect it, though. He's got to repair that tank. Oh, the tank goes down for Fantasy. Jangby fans going nuts uh, because Jangby has taken down two early tanks. And he had the robotic support base, so he's probably coming in with his Reaver right now uh, to help out the- Yeah, the Reaver! To help out with the attack! Oh, the fans going nuts in the audience! Because with the Reaver alongside, Jangby should be able to take a big bite out of Fantasy's economy. Just Scarab into these SCVs. Even if Jangby can group, it up, group up enough tanks to eventually clean up this attack, He's going to take so much damage that Jangby will, will be able to steamroll him if he plays, plays his cards right. Okay, uh, some SCVs trying to go back to mine. They're trying to act like everything's okay, but there's a <laughs> Scarab taking out a few more SCVs and a Vulture. There comes a uh, Scarab. Jangby takes another tank hit, but uh, sacrifices one hit, a little bit of health on the Reaver to take out the, the tank completely. And his shuttle is still in green health, so he doesn't have to worry too much about uh, this one Marine that's back here. But uh, oh man, grinding down the economy with Scarabs. Takes out the Marine, and he's attacking from multiple sides with Dragoons. Uh, yeah, taking out everything. I don't think there's anything left in the bunker for Fantasy. He hasn't really been uh, pumping any more Marines. Might have one or two Marines in that bunker, but... Yeah, things are not looking very good for Fantasy. Another Reaver being pumped and picked up by the shuttle. So here comes Jangbi again. <laughs> uh, such dirty play. But I have to say I expected this kind of thing from Jangbi. Going up against Fantasy, you have to bring this, this type of play to take him down. Because Fantasy does this type of play himself. Oh, two Scarabs take out the tank. No tanks left. And I saw one Reaver go down uh, to a shot there. But still, I think there's one Reaver left. And the front is broken. There's no longer any um, wall inside of this main. So, yeah, Fantasy, bad times for him, man. Yeah, the tank's holding on. Another tank goes down. Another tank goes down. So, <laughs> wow. 
Yeah, I'm not sure why Fancy hasn't GG'd at this point, because he really has nothing uh, to fight back Jangbi now. He's pumping from those two factories, uh, hanging on to the last shred of hope. Of course, this is the last Brood War OSL, so you want to give it your all. Never want to GG early in this kind of a situation, but yeah, it's pretty much over for Fantasy. He has that one tank trying to repair the tank, but just look at the mini-map. Uh, Jangbi has secured a fourth base against Fantasy's one base, so yeah, not good. Well, I guess he technically has a second base, but there's no mining there at all, and he just lifted it off. And more SCV go <laughs> SCVs go down, but he has the two tanks uh, positioned inside of his main. He has his two tanks sieged up, and uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, Changbi has been focused on his economy. He's keeping up the macro as he's been doing this attack, which is very good multitasking. But all he's got, really got to do is run through the front door. There's no wall at all. So he's got to get in there with zealots or something, find some way to take out the tanks up close, uh, which the Reaver could definitely be used for later. But uh, there's the ooh, close up on Jang B's multitasking ability. Still looking at his mini map back to the screen. Always love it when you see their eyes dart back and forth between the mini map and the screen. Freaking 300 APM, IPM. There you go. The Reaver trying to go up. Two Reavers, two Scarabs, take out the tank. Another tank goes down. Oh, all the SCVs. That's GG from Fantasy. Jang B, you rascal. Jang B up two now, setting himself up to take this OSL. All he needs is one more win. So it's time for Fantasy to fight, fight, fight. All right, gird your loins. We're moving on to the fourth set.